So let's talk insurance. Um, everybody wants to know who to go with, what the rates are, how much coverage you need. From what I found out, um, you can search all you want. Depending on what state you're in, pretty much the only company that is going to insure you right out of the gate as a, new, as a new business is going to be Progressive. You can look all you want, but Progressive is going to be the only one to insure you for a lot of reasons. They're obviously a massive company. They're taking a huge liability with having you um, on a policy with them operating a commercial vehicle on the road. So I got some quotes from Progressive directly from them and it was I, I'm going to say around $20,000 for one year which was a little high to me I couldn't which was part of why I didn't start right away um, when I opened my company $20,000 to me is a lot of money to risk right off the bat. I was willing to go somewhere around twelve dollars to $15,000 a year. I ended up contacting a couple agents who then go through Progressive. Um, I got one quote that was $50,000. Um, I almost had a heart attack and thought there's no way I will be able to own a transport company with a cost like that. Um, but then I ended up finding through RigQuote, which all I did was Google commercial truck insurance and RigQuote came up and lo and behold, I got a rate of about $13,000. Um, so I took it. Um, it's the best I'd seen and I was ready to hit the road. So. That is for one million liability, which a lot of places um, that you haul for, they don't like accepting anything under a million dollar liability and a hundred thousand cargo. I run a two car hauler, so I was told from some experts that do about it on open coverage on an open trailer about fifty thousand dollars per vehicle unless you're obviously hot uh, going to be hauling high-end cars but usually that's going to be in an enclosed trailer now everybody asked me what steps did you take to get started it was a little different for me i already had this truck i bought it about a year and a half ago uh, the ford i had was a 6.4 liter power stroke which has got to be the worst engine ever produced um, it cracked the block when it was about 136,000 miles on it, so I had to make a change. I got talked into buying a Duramax, got a heck of a deal on this truck. Bought it with about 100,000 miles on it. So I already had the truck. I already had a couple trailers. I hauled on the side um, for a couple years. I always was moving something, my lawnmower, anything you could name. Uh, it was always nice to have a trailer, so I just kept buying them. So I already had the truck. Um, I didn't know which trailer I wanted to buy or what I wanted to specialize in, either freight or vehicles. Once the market started to crash for freight, I decided that vehicles were going to be a better and easier. Uh, they run, I can unload myself. I'm not waiting around on a forklift or some most lots I can drop 24 7 so it just works better for me so I already had the truck I didn't know about the trailer but the insurance was the only thing and that's the reason for this video before you get a truck and a trailer have an idea of what you want for a truck and a trailer and get quotes on insurance there's a lot of people going out of business because they can't afford the insurance I mean, to some people, a thousand dollars or two, three thousand dollars a month for insurance is absolutely a deal breaker. For some people, it's not. Um, I feel like I could afford a little more, but why would you want to do that? Um, obviously, I'll have to when I, I'm going to move up and 
size of trailer and size of truck here uh, hopefully within the next year so do your research on insurance uh, if you have a bad driving record or a DUI or something on your driving record it's gonna make or break you um, some companies will go back as far as 10 years some want to go back three years so it depends on which company you're working with I know for a fact Rick quoted they went back three years just because I remember filling out the paperwork on it I have a contact there that is very very good she helped me through the process she answers my emails within seconds when I need a certificate with some company's name on it as a certificate holder um, so if you want that information comment below I'll uh, I'll help you out and get you her information and hopefully get you a good quote on insurance and get you guys up and running.